hey guys today i will discuss a discovery of electron or discovery of cathode rays and uh, properties of electron or cathode rays will be discussed through animation so that you could understand it easily so here you can see a discharge tube which is made up of glass and there are two electrodes fitted on each side and here's a vacuum pump which is used to study uh, the gases at any pressure and here you see here's a battery <coughs> And very powerful battery that is connected to either electrode and uh, <coughs> current uh, doesn't flow at ordinary pressure even at a high voltage voltage is being supplied from this side vacuum pump lets the steady gas at any pressure as I have just told you a uniform glow is observed under reduced pressure at 5 to 10 kV when 5 to 10 kilovolt uh, voltage is applied a uniform glow is observed inside this gas shard tube at a further reduced pressure dark space is observed close to cathode and here on uh, here on this cathode side a dark space is observed the pressure is reduced you know that when a pressure is reduced which means a less number of gas molecule inside the tube so lesser excitation of these uh, gases and uh, we will we and we would see darker space on this side but uh, 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 gas molecules or electrons or cathode is moving towards this side they would strike the wall of the tube so we would observe a sort of fluorescence over here and uh, a brighter space on this anode side. Cathode rays are produced due to the ionization gases inside this tube but uh, it must be in your mind that cathode rays can also be produced through thermion emission. If you heat up this uh, uh, cathode then uh, electron beam can be emitted uh, from this cathode as well but in this particular case we will uh, keep ourselves uh, <coughs> but in this particular case we will uh, discuss about um, the production of cathode rays through ionization of the gas. Reduction in pressure causes darkness on cathode side because of the less strong collisions there as I have just explained this phenomenon. <coughs> Under reduced pressure of 0 0.1 tar or 5 to 10 kV voltage this is what we observed. Some cathode rays are moving from this cathode side towards anode sides. This was what observed uh, inside this gas discharge tube. And when, and when they strike the walls, they cause fluorescence due to the excitation and de-excitation of the gas. When these radiations are coming from this anode uh, cathode side and going towards the uh, anode side, strike the wall of the tube or anode, they cause fluorescence if some fluorescent material is applied over here. It was J.J. Thompson who established their positive charge. He kept a positively charged plate uh, on this side of the tube. And when these radiations were produced, they changed their path and started to bend towards this positively charged plate. <coughs> they can bend only if they are negatively charged. When a magnetic field was applied, it was observed that they follow a curved path, establishing that they carry negative charge. Cathode rays rotated a small wheel placed in front showing they are material particle. When a pedal wheel or a small pin wheel was placed in front of these radiation, it was observed that this, wheel, this uh, pin wheel started rotating showing that the radiation coming from this side carry uh, material or matter and they are material particle having momentum. When some opaque object is placed in the path of these radiation, they cast a shadow on opposite side which means that they move in a straight line otherwise they are invisible these radiations are invisible but when a wheel is placed in their path and uh, these radiations are uh, made visible through the excitation or de-excitation of gases then they cast shadow on the wall of this tube they have energy they have kinetic energy and uh, when they strike um, a metal plate placed in front of them they heat them up they produce x-rays um, here you can see we have placed a heavy uh, metal object that is serving as a anode and when they strike this they produce x-rays from them they can ionize gases they cause chemical change due to reduction they can pass through thin metal foil like gold and greenish fluorescence is observed when they strike the walls thank you very much for watching